We get to the interesting bit. <laughs> Finally, they have shown it. I have been wondering. I have been praying to the uh, to the greater will, and it is finally here. The first ever reveal of Shadow of the Earth Tree for Elden Ring. Let's see, so we can start having at least a little talk about it before we end the stream. Peggy Let's 16. see. So are we going to have to enter it? Oh god, we do, don't we? Pure oh, oh. And see this. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. So it's definitely involving Mikola, obviously. So do we enter it? Nothing more terrifying. This is not going to be fun, though, if we have to enter it that way. Oh, he tarnished. So it is basically that we enter it via the place in Moog's. I'm going to be honest, that's a bummer, because that does mean we have to fight Moog to get to the Earth. To get there, to get to the DLC, and Moog is a bitch. Pardon the French. But let's first. Ooh, that music. How big is. Okay, we've seen this from the artwork that they showed. That's definitely from the art. Is this like a shadow reflection of the realms of the lands between? In that forsaken place. Blood must spill. Oh, Blood we are your fellows. They are truly faithful. Oh my! What? They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. Oh my God! Oh dear! Oh no! What the? <gasps> What the? What are we looking at with that thing? Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction? Is that Nicola? So bereft. Yes! Hold on, I need to see this. I need to see this in detail. Looks like a Chinese yen, the, li the lion-esque monster. Ye good point. But what the? Is that Mikola? But he has red hair. No, that can't be him. <gasps> Could it be that he has taken on the likeness of... Bereft of... Red hair of Radic Could it be that he has inherited part of... M of... Life. Let's first watch it, though. Okay. Oh my god, are we getting more dual weapons? And throwing daggers in a sort of... <laughs> Mega pot throw! A repeater crossbow, yes baby! Sword dancing! Oh my... What the... That is one messed up looking hippo. Those <gasps> oh, it, 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 is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh my god, they made a knuck a creature based on the knucklevy. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all death. That has to be Mikola. Come now. Touch the withered arm. And travel to the realm of shadow. But will he be the final boss? <gasps> May we meet <gasps> We're getting... We're getting the fucking... When is it? When? When, 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 when? <gasps> is that the real Mikola? <gasps> oh, June! This year? That's four months from now! 
But you type out what you're doing, Galley. I want to look into this in detail. So we're definitely going in through Moog's Arena. So definitely this is recommended to do once you've Pure reached like high Radiant. level. An Elden Lord must consort with an Imperium for Lordship. Mikla is he an Imperium. Love. With the ability to shapeshift, they say. To shrive clean the hearts of We men. all knew that Mikla was going to be important to this DLC. But this just got ins more insane ever. I know it still set the Baldur's Gate free, by the way, but yeah. Nothing more terrifying. Mm hmm. Look at. So, is there. Is this meant as a sort of twist? Is this going to be similar to, like, what you could say, like, the Hunter's Nightmare from uh, Bloodborne? Like, it's a twisted reflection of. The lands between, or is it a whole new realm? If he grants a new path, that would be interesting. Although more than a bit awkward if he's still uh, he's a child still. Well, it's believed that that's what the cocoon is, that he's trying to break free from the curse of his eternal childhood, that he's trying to rise above that, and it's believed that the cocoon was a process to do that. And that's the speculation. So, definitely. Hold on a second, I need to... I'm gonna be looking back at this a couple of times off-screen. Unknown, I wonder if we'll go outside lands between. Truly godforsaken lands. Could be, but I don't know. It's... I don't know, I'm seeing some resemblance to, uh, to the lands between in the geometry to a degree. But we'll have to wait until we get... And, and it is called the Shadow of the Earth Tree. So is it possible, like... Humor me, like maybe that there becomes a sh that the Earth Tree's existence has created a shadowed reflect. I think this DLC would do well to have holy weak enemies. That would be nice, yeah, if they fix that problem. I know of that issue. I've just came to think of something. It is stated that the burial grounds, like those different tombs we go into, uh, are for Earth Tree burials. Is it perhaps possible? That the accumulation of all those people, and that this is like the like a sort of either purgatory or afterlife of er of the of the lands between. I think this DLC would do well to have. Oh yeah, look at. I remember seeing this in the splash art. I'm getting the feeling like it could be possible that this is like the dark reflection, like as it is called, the shadow of the earth tree. I'm not sure, though, the red-haired guy is the actual final boss, though. And this... This has to be Mikola's symbol, then. But I don't think Mikola is necessarily even the red-haired one. Because it was wielding fire, too. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. This gets me a little intrigued. Who is this? And who's this? And what's the connection to all of this? If these are all now, warrior jars. I'm motivated. Thank you, Amelia Ava, too. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Hope you get to enjoy the time here. Thank you for the uh, follow and thank you for the motivation. I'm currently, I know it's set the Baldur's Gate free, but this was something I wanted to do before I end the stream for today. I'm just looking at this little reveal that was shown, or, uh, that was, that they announced. Look at this. Why do I get such a Stormvale Castle feel of it? Hey, uh, how's it going? I'm doing well, Amelia. Thank They're you. Never they just happen to be on the losing side of a war. Oh. Thanks, Dolly. You already figured it out, didn't you? I was hoping, I was trying to uh, hope for the better. Look at this. It's like a fucking bot. Okay, so it was. Yeah, I guess the line was obvious. But I wanted to... I didn't want to throw it out too quickly. This guy, though, is interesting. <gasps> uh, Galley. Do you notice something about this thing? Gally, if you're here? No, not the golden hair. Although that is also something akin to it. Horns. Exactly. 
many horns. Yeah. I come to realize something. We know that Malekith was the bla was the shadow, uh was the shadow to um God damn it. I forget. America. But what if she hadn't just only what if this is a maybe this is another result of the omens? Beast omen. The beast men. Could it be a show of America crucible? Yeah. Maybe the beast men were having omen among their own as well. I mean, if you think about it, look at this. That's like a storm attack. A, sh a shadow of... Yeah. And lightning abilities. We only know of only one group of creatures that could wield lightning outside of the dragon cult followers. The beastmen. This may not be the arcane lightning of theirs, the red lightning. But he still wields it. But this guy... Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction? This guy's got my interest. The armor. He has like snake eyes. Could it be possible that we're, we're look? I just figured it out. This isn't, this isn't Mikola. I have two hypotheses about the cre- about that creature with the horns, like the lion creature. I've got my hypothesis about this guy, though. I'll leave it at this. And I just came to a conclusion of this dude. And I think one of you, you pro- one of your hypotheses might be the same as mine. But... Share your first. Share them, please, Gally. But I think you and I, we have a name for him because of merchandise. Mer uh, merchandise says the guy's name is Mesmer. Possible. But there's something else about this that gets me a little suspicious about it. That's not what I was thinking. Mesmer could be his name. But there is something about that I just noticed. Look at the overall look of his weapon. Two sources for golden eyes. Yeah. But I was thinking of something else. But if you still have the other one. But I think you and I are on the same page about that one. I just, for once again, for the life of me, can't remember the name of the guy. Um, I gotta look it up. I completely forgot his name. One. Flame of Frenzy. No... Right, bingo, there it is. Rikard. Remember what he said. He can't die. Maybe this is where he returns to every time he was slain. Every time he fell. It looks to the serpent, the overall design of his weapon, the cloth, and specifically... That just reminded me of something. Where is it? That picture. Maybe this is what's right card. Serpents and dragons. Yeah. And look at that fire. That looks like a f the fire of... That looks like the f flame of blasphemy. Both symbols representing Satan. True. The the snake eyes, and he's got like the serpent on his helm too. The red hair, since he is, he is after all the son of Ra of Radagon, since he is called Rikard. Both symbols representing Satan. Yeah, they did use that inspiration for Rikard. I'm thinking that this may be some kind of image of Rikard. Maybe not the real one, but definitely an association to it. He did, he does mention like mother. Oh yeah, a snake eyes. Yeah, that's just something I'm getting a feeling with that. Hmm, the god devouring serpent. Where did it even come from? Maybe that's what we're seeing with this. Wait, hold on. What is that move? 
Are we getting like full martial arts combat style? Like just as a weapon art, that would be so cool. I presume you too are keen to know. Look at that armor though. That is such a baller look. Look at armor. Just what kind to make a And the new roar. This no, I better be hoping to get that that design. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. The new grace of restless flesh. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. That's you. what I'm and talking about. Again. Wait, is, are those? Is that a weapon and shield combo? I will not be far behind. Oh my god, that's a new twin blade! That's a new twin blade. I will not be far Look at it, that's a new twin And that shield looks so badass, too! God, this DLC is going to devour like the rest of this year for me. There's a historical precedent for that weapon with the shield. Yeah. Jesus. Mikola is not the final boss, though. He's connected. This guy, even if he's at the front, I don't think he's our main villain, though. He's not the final boss. 